Hey everybody, this is Stratagem and today we're going to watch My Little Pony Generation 5 Tell Your Tale, the episodes 67 and 68. That is The Rise and Fall as well as Crystal Ball. So The Rise and Fall, I have no idea, this could go into absolutely every direction, could be something completely silly, could be a tie-in to the yeah, I was about to say finale, but no, it's uh, to the beginning of chapter 6 with Opalin, but who knows. And Crystal Ball, yeah, from serious divination work to uh, not so serious divination work, it could be everything. Or maybe it is a ball, as in the event at which you do dancing and stuff like that. In which case it might tie in with the uh, chapter 6 quote unquote finale slash holiday episode special thingy. Who knows? We'll find out. I'll we'll just have to get to it. So, before we get started, let me remind you to leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. You can also follow me on Mastodon, DeviantArt, and Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, thanks to my patrons who support the channel directly. You can find links to all those sites down in the description below. And with that out of the way, Let's not waste any more time. Here we go. <laughs> and Opalin, okay. And this is when she already has the marks. The time has come for you, ponies, to bow to. What's so funny? You ponies. That is quite funny. Ponies. <laughs> Yeah, that that is how that that is how it is occasionally. No, nothing of import. Busy not doing much. Oh jeez, yeah, they look different. Holy. God damn it, Wendy. So we're, we're basically recapping um, what happened in um, chapter 6, the uh, Root of All Evil episodes. And here they, they, the dragons just outright have cutie marks. Also, she doesn't have the um, the weird glowy effect on her chest. Not today, Satan. Just have, just have that uh, recorded and uh, live streamed. Jeez. And yet she managed to defeat you, despite having no magic training, or combat training, or anything. I 
I mean, we know that this is not how it happened. Uh, same song, at least. Well, that is at least a sign that they, she might come back. But yeah, um, again an episode that just recaps events from Make Your Mark. Which, um, I mean, I guess that's helpful if all you watch is um, Tell Your Tale and you don't watch Make Your Mark, in which case, boy, you must be in a state of permanent confusion, but you're also probably at an age at which uh, the confusion doesn't, doesn't set in yet. <laughs> so, I guess, I don't, I don't know, the, the, these episodes just feel weird. It's kind of interesting to see the... Um, the whole fight and the everything in um, in the Tell Your Tale style. It's very different It's and really it doesn't lend itself to um, big events like that. That's not the Tell Your Tale style's strength, I think. It's it's weird. It's uh, it's a simple vector-based style like, like it was with uh, Friendship is Magic, but it feels significantly less fitting for um, action scenes. Uh, slapstick yeah, comedy, yeah, works well with that, um, but the, I want to say, serious action scenes, it's oddly not fitting. Imagine something like uh, the season 4 battle Twilight T-Rex with uh, this style. I, I don't know, it doesn't really work, but I digress. Uh, still, it's, I mean, the episode is okay. It's, it's nothing more than a recap for, um, I guess, for the people who haven't watched Make Your Mark, so um, yeah, it's not really much to say. So let's move on to the last episode for today. That's gonna be Crystal Ball, which, yeah, at this point, it might really be um, a tie into the uh, Secret of Starlight episode, because I mean, crystals and yeah, ball can be a dance event. So who knows? Anyhow, Crystal Ball. Here we go. Yeah, okay, we are after Secret of Starlight. Hey, Comet! Did you say something erotic? Oh, yes, yes! It's from Violet Cross. It arrived weeks ago, and then I put it someplace... Like <laughs> it arrived weeks ago. God damn it, Comet. Off to a good start, my man. Hey, we've got to get back to Starlight Ridge. But don't we need the Nova Charm to travel through the portal? Wait, Izzy, do you have it with you? Do I have it, Zipperoonie? Do I have it? <laughs> She has no idea if she has it. But hey, um, so uh, the comet is constantly glittering. Oh, probably all the aurora cards. Oh, jeez. And yeah, it's it's actually a crystal ball. I I was right. Why, why was I right? Also, their designs aren't as different as they were in Make Your Mark. But also, has Violet a different voice? I don't know, she's, she sounds different, I think. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. That is absolutely possible as well. <laughs> Zip is... <laughs> Zip 
Uh, it's probably not Allura. Yeah, looks kind of awesomely terrifying. Don't go in there. I think it might have something to do with that evil snow leopard, Allura. It's okay, Sunny. I know we've all been through a lot lately, but Allura, Opaline, we don't have to worry about them anymore. Trust me, whatever is in there is just a bit of fun. No, it's easy. It's even worse. Told me that there is a super yummy pie in my future. There you go, Is. I know how much you love pie. Wow! Did you pony see that? Mind totally blown! Ah! I mean, your mind is easy to blow. It's, 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 it's a low bar. Calm down, Sheriff. The crystal ball told me that I would find Sparky. <laughs> How convenient. Told me I wouldn't be able to stop squawking like a bird. <laughs> what as if? I guess that's right. Seems harmless enough. I'm not sure if that's exactly harmless. That's strange. What's that noise? It sounds like purring. Did you say purring? <laughs> hey, what about my fortune? You have no fortune. Yeah, Izzy broke, uh, Sunny broke the ball. Purring noise? It sounded a lot like Allura when she spoke. Remember? She, she kind of purred? Sunny, that snow leopard is gone, and Izzy has the Nova charm now. There's nothing to worry about. Maybe it just There's everything to worry about. I mean, I do like kittens. Don't worry, Sunny. Let's party! That's Izzy's his stomach. Now? Still nothing? I hope you ponies had fun. We loved having you in our crystal ball. There! There it is again! You ponies must have heard that! Sparky? Oh, Sparky. Not Izzy. It's just Sparky's tummy. We told you it was nothing to worry about. <sighs> well, that's a relief. I was starting to worry that Allura followed us. <laughs> Come on, ponies. Let's head home. Oh, hey. Welcome home, ponies. So, we got... Uh, we got Allura's uh, Tell Your Tale design there. Good to see her in this show as well. I mean, I already like her better as a villain than Opalin. Then again, it's a pretty low bar. And <laughs> already back at um, the Starlight Ridge. And yeah, already seeing Comet again. Already seeing Lura and uh, Violet Frost again. Really, Violet Frost sounds different. This is weird. But again, this is also an episode in which we don't have an outro, so I, it's not like I could check the VAs and um, yeah, oh well. Anyhow, I guess that's it uh, from me for now. So as always, I've been Stratagem, thanks for watching and see you next time.